Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jeremy and I'm backing up with another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to convert your UI from offset to scale. And basically what I mean by that is if you're like me and when you create your UI, you do everything using the offset, um, using whole numbers and not the scale, which is using the um, uh, between zero and one. Uh, basically, it's a percentage based on the uh, the resolution uh, or the, the the absolute size of the parent object. Um, basically, it's uh, the way I, I like doing it this way because it's easier for me to create the UI the way I want it to, and then I can just worry about converting it to the um, the to scale later on. And um, the way I do that. Uh, is through usually I would just use uh, my plugin that I, I have here um, ignore the icon but that's how I usually do it but I'll show you guys how to do it in like like how to create a function in your script to automatically do this um, and uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your UI um, this is a simple shop I've created um, just for demonstration and I can show you an example of what the kind of like what issues this causes if you weren't to like to convert to scale. Like for example, if you have like a cool um, uh, effect when you open and close your UI, as you can see, it kind of just like mushes everything together and it doesn't actually kind of um, uh, keep it scaled properly. Another thing is is if you uh, rescale the window, it doesn't rescale the object um, uh, based on the uh, the screen size. Um, it's just kind of just one set size and that can cause issues for um, smaller devices if you if you're creating this on like a, um, a computer with your um, uh, You know like a screen size of the uh, 1920 by 1080 um, And you're, you're creating inside this the Roblox studio and let's say someone like, tries to play this on their phone using that scale that you've chosen for um, the screen that you're working on or you're the, the, the resolution that you're working with it's just going to go completely just, completely just flood their screen uh, depending on the size of the interface um, and that can cause issues so um, we can go ahead and get into this I'm going to keep this effect here so I can show you the final product so I create a, um, a, um, a local script here inside of the screen GUI called controller you can just put this implement this function anywhere where you control all the um, um, the functionality of your UI. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a function. So I'm going to um, just go ahead and call this one like um, uh, convert to uh, scale. So let's do local, oops, local function uh, convert to scale. And um, this function will take in um, the instance. Uh, the parent, like the the parent instance of what you want to start with, and then the um, we'll do uh, uh, canvas size, um, and then uh, I think that's that's all we'll do. Actually, we can do the um. um layer level uh, that way I can just add this to like um, like choose to basically add in like an um, an aspect ratio constraint to the the main windows uh, that way they're um, they're also kind of like um, uh, controlled based on like the the size as well so an aspect ratio constraint keeps the um, the resolute like the keeps the um, um, the aspect ratio, like it just keeps it from like distorting your your interface. So like, um, if I wasn't to use an aspect ratio constraint, I was to use a wider screen, the UI would extend out based on the user's uh, screen width, and that can cause issues for like images and stuff on your um, your your frames and all that. So. Um, I'll add that later on, but I'll use layer level to determine the, the level of the layer. Um, but um, what we'll do is um, do um, 
we're gonna loop through all the the children of the instance so we're gonna do uh, for index um, child in ipairs uh, instance clone get children and do and so this will uh we'll just loop through all the uh child uh, instances of the the main um, object that you passed into the uh, the function and um we're gonna ch uh, make sure because uh, we're gonna make sure it's an actual like frame button or like whatever it is it has to be like a gui object and not like a, a gui constraint um uh, so we'll do uh if uh child colon is a um gui object then we will um, go ahead and grab the absolute size of the child. Uh, so we'll do local absolute size is equal to child.absolute size. And uh, we'll also need the position of that uh, child. So we'll do position is equal to child.position. Um, and we're going to want to do this from the, um, the base down. So like the, the, the furthest down, like the, uh, the last child, so we're just going to go through all the descendants of this. So, um, we're going to first call this function on itself again. So convert to scale and we're going to call it, uh, with the, uh, the instance being the child and, um, the absolute size being the um, being the uh, the canvas size and then we will do uh, layer level plus one um, and that will be used later uh, so for actually scaling everything uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the size the size can be done um, basically dividing uh, the um, the absolute size X of like the the child's absolute size, um, dividing it by the canvas size. So if we do um, child dot size is equal to udem two dot new, and inside this udem two, we will go ahead and uh, do absolute size dot x divided by the canvas size dot x. And we'll um, then zero and do the same thing with y. So absolute size dot y divided by canvas size dot y, and it's just as simple as that. That's um, that will convert it. So we'll just go ahead and um, uh, con convert to scale. And let's say I want to use the same uh, base dimensions as what I'm using in Studio. We do uh, fifth. Uh, we'll do the uh, script dot parent, which will be the screen GUI, and then we'll do uh, vector two dot new. Um, or you can actually, uh, we can go up here if you wanted to use the same ones. Actually, no, the ones that we're using in Studio would be different for each player. So vector two dot new, and we'll do fifteen ninety five um, eight hundred one. This can be like a base size, like um, for uh, ten eighty. Uh, it can be like 1920 by 1080 uh, if you want to do like a base resolution size. But if you're just wanting to make sure that the UI is the based on the scale that you're using in Studio, uh, you can just input the uh, the screen GUI's absolute size value into the vector two, and then this that's what it will use. And then we'll go ahead and um, um, leave this blank for the last one, and inside the function do a layer level. Uh, is equal to a layer level or one, uh, zero. Um, actually, I'll do layer level one. That way, it's consistent. Um, and then, so if we were to play the game here, you'll notice that it looks the same. But if we, you know, mush it, it actually. Um, obviously, since parts of this are 
uh, still using scale for the position. I mean, uh, offset for the position, it'll still like send those off the screen. But as you can see, it like changes the size based on the screen size. So now for the position, um, it's similar. So we'll do child.position. And we're going to use the, um, uh, the already existing uh, scale uh, of, uh, or the already existing scale, position scale. And, and we're going to add on the uh, positions offset uh, divided by the canvas offset um, or canvas size offset. So uh, I'll show you. So we do udem 2new and for the x value, we will for the scale x value, we'll do position dot x dot scale uh, plus um, absolute size dot x uh, or sorry um, position dot x dot offset uh, divided by the uh, can uh, canvas size dot x. And then we'll do zero, and then we can go ahead and copy this and change all this to y. It's uh, going to change this to y, and then y, and then make the the last value zero. Um, we got to make it equal to the unit two. Um, now if we play. It, it looks the same, but if we um, scale it now, as you can see, the text doesn't go off the, the frame. It stays on there because um, the uh, I believe on if you go to the featured and go to purchase, it's got like some of these in, in offset. So like minus 6 pixels, minus 12 pixels, uh, 24, minus 178, all that good stuff. And it will just basically convert it all to one um, scale number. Uh, something between zero and one, and uh, just use that as the base size. Now, the there's still an issue with this. Um, if we it, it like smushes it, so that's not that's obviously not good. So what we can do is use an aspect ratio constraint, and this is where the layer level will come in. So we can check if the layer level is equal to one. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you want to put the aspect ratio constraint in a different like layer level, or um, you don't want it to be in like the main UI, uh, you want to use your own like constraints uh, inside of each object. Without this, you can just remove this. But um, uh, this will just add a base constraint to um, each of the main level frames. So, like, if you had a shop, a backpack, and like uh, some other like like a code window and all that, um, the, and you're sending the instance as the screen GUI, it will just add an aspect ratio constraint to each of the main uh, frames and not to each individual frame. So we'll uh, go ahead and create an aspect ratio constraint. So we'll do um, local uh, aspect uh, ratio is equal to instance.new. If I can actually type instance, oh my gosh, it's using instance. There we go. Dot new uh, uh, aspect ratio constraint, and we can do uh, aspect 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 ratio dot aspect uh, ratio uh, is equal to absolute size dot x divided by absolute size dot y. And this creates a um, an aspect ratio based on the um, the uh, absolute size of the frame, and then we can just go ahead and parent that to the uh, child, and then yeah, that should be everything there. If we go ahead and hit play, and we. You know, change the window size. As you can see, it actually um, updates the size and actually keeps its its uh, um, ra uh, aspect ratio no matter the screen size. And then also, 
this effect looks a lot smoother because it doesn't go out uh, out of its way to um, just kind of just crumble everything together. Um, so yeah, uh, this is just a basic function you can add in. Um, this can go at the end, like this line of code can go at the end of your main controller function for all your UI. And it's just, it's just nice to um, be able to do this rather than kind of just like um, trying to uh, like either keep a copy with like all the um, the aspect ratio or not the aspect, the, with the, 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 the offset inputs or um, just going in and like changing things and then updating them with a plugin. This just kind of does it for you. Um, obviously the plugins are great and all that, but um, uh, this kind of does it a lot quicker um, and you don't really have to go in, click buttons and do all that. You can just update something and this will just automatically kind of apply those changes. Now you can modify this to your liking, um, but um, this is just kind of like a, a base function for you to use. Um, and hopefully this kind of uh, helps you out in creating UI. There's a lot of better ways you can go about doing this. This is just one of the ways that um, you can do it. Um, and this is obviously probably not the best way. There's probably a better way to do this. Um, there's always a better way for some to do something out there. So but yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful and hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.